Hello everyone, Mike's Grill and Barbecue here. Today, I'm making a competition ribeye steak times two. And I'm gonna dedicate it to all my best friends and brothers at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion on the electric crew and the carpenter crew. Love you guys. This steak is for you and you and you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I bought these steaks, had them shipped to my house from Lubbock, Texas, from Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas. These steaks uh, are fresh Texas beef. You can't get any better. These are prime Texas beef. They cost uh, $35 a piece. In a restaurant, They, the, a ribeye steak like this, a prime, uh, I looked it up. It would be $65 to $75 per steak. Usually, I only cook like $20 steaks. But I splurged and I bought these ribeyes from Texas, $35 a piece. So since it's Friday and Laura's going to make the asparagus, I got two baked potatoes in the oven and I'm getting ready to light the grill and I'll show you my steaks right now. Let's light it up and grill some ribeye competition steak. Maybe I can win a prize. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go do it. Ribeye steaks. Look at the marbly. So what I did is I trimmed all the hard fat around the steak. Then I took my butcher's twine and I wrapped the steak and made it kind of tight, little taut. So the perfectly round steaks for a competition. Ribeyes have the spinalis right here and a, a big fat piece right here. So when you cook them, they, send, they tend to separate. So you get a, a wobbly looking uh, steak. So when you tie it up like this for competition, the steak stays perfectly round. You get your, your char marks. It's fantastic. So what I'm gonna do, I got my compound butter. I used the Raider Red Meats Steak Seasoning. I used Cosmo Q Cow Cover, award winning. I got Cosmo Q Texas Beef. And I got Grillaholics SPG with butter. I'm gonna make the compound butter. I'm gonna put some cow cover in there. In the in the butter. And maybe some uh Texas beef. Put a little bit of that. It's got a little sugar in there. And then I'll use a uh, steak seasoning. I'm gonna light the grill. Look at those steaks. Ooh, the butter's gonna melt. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to that too. Got my PK grill all clean. I got my grill grates. I got the charcoal. I'm gonna light it up. PK grill. I'm gonna add some uh, organic minced garlic. How much is too much garlic? I don't think there is. I'm gonna take one big teaspoon. 
That should be enough. <laughs> I love garlic. Gonna be great. We got garlic bread. We got asparagus. We got baked potato. Rock and roll. Cow cover. Give it a nice color. I'll make sure I get the edges. Then I'm gonna use Texas beef. Put some on the cutting board to do the edges. Should be delicious. Ready for the grill. These steaks are gonna be fantastic. All seasoned up. I have not used lighter fluid in at least 25 years. I don't believe in it. I believe in the chimney, the charcoal, and uh, newspaper. That's it. Lighter fluid can go get the hell out of here. Yeah. Ugh. Disgusting. Lighter fluid is like gasoline. Who wants to eat a gasoline stick? <laughs> Melt your butter and spices and garlic on top of the chimney. Get a little barbecue smoke in there. Let it melt for you. The drizzle on the steak. It's gonna be good. Holy moly. All right, let's put the steaks on. Steaks look good. What I like to do is put duck fat on. But I only have canola oil, so I'm just go, I'm gonna spray some canola oil on the steaks. and put them on. Duck fat would be better. I want this steak to be at a 45 degree angle. Just like that. Take this one and go like that. Pat them down a little for sear, sear marks. They're kind of thick. Close the lid. Go to my uh, timer. I'm gonna go to 115. I want it medium rare. I want it rare, under medium rare. So we'll wait one minute and 15 seconds. Then we'll rotate and then we'll flip, flip. Time for the flip a -roo. Let's do it. Gotta do is clean the, the grates. I'm gonna 
put it just like this. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Clean your grates for your shear marks. Just like this. Beautiful. One and a half minute. Rotate, rotate. Let's get a close up of that. Look at those steaks. Look at that steak, but holy moly. Those are beautiful, man. Woo! One more rotate. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those things. With the garlic butter, with the dry rub seasoning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take them off, wrap them up, put them in the house. Let them rest for at least 10 minutes. And then we'll dig in. Make Mike's uh, grill and barbecue. Friday night. Cheers, everyone. Garlic toast, asparagus, ribeye steak, baked potato. Delicious. It's delicious. Let's go eat some. Baked potato. But what? Killer garlic bread. Asparagus, ribeye steak, Mike's Grill and Barbecue, delicious. Let's try um, some steak. Got a char, crispy char on the stick. Mm. Oh. 
try the garlic bread. Lemon. Mm. 95 cents for a loaf this big. Loaded baked potato with um, butter, sour cream, and uh, bacon bits. I forgot the chives. Perfect. One hour, 15 minutes in the oven at 350. The biggest potato. I put a little avocado oil and uh, sea salt, kosher sea salt on there. That's it. Came out perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Laura's. Um, Olive oil and Parmesan baked asparagus. You just drizzle olive oil and, and I, I grate up asper uh, Parmesan cheese, like real Parmesan, and then you bake it in the oven for, for like 15 minutes. Love asparagus. Steak. A little over medium rare, almost a medium. But as you can see, it just pulls apart. <laughs> the steak pulls apart. Like brisket. Oh man. A mix of steak with the potato. Mike's Grill and Barbecue. That's like the perfect ribeye steak right there. Look at that. It's still pink. It's just a little over. Here's the other side. It's just a little over. I, I cooked it for like a minute and a half too long, I think. That's what I did. Mm. This steak is perfect. Better than any restaurant. Mm. Thank you so much for watching on this Friday night. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it.
and ring that notification bell so you won't miss another thing I cook. You never know what I might cook up tomorrow. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or would like to know how I, how I make this steak. Look at that. Bye, everybody. Kukumaluku. Aloha. Peace. Love. And aloha. Bye. Look at that steak. Man, that's good. It's dripping. That's a nice medium rare right there. I overcooked it a little. You see this uh, gray band right here? It should be pink from edge to edge. And it's pink and it's good on this side. But on this side, I went just a little over. So delicious. Look at that. That's awesome.